everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft vanilla server. So guys, I have been doing some things around here and one of those things is getting very annoyed of having these donkeys in this base area. Uh, I want to do something about that. I want to get those donkeys sorted out. I want them to have their own little place so I don't have to constantly hear them making sounds and stomping around and not only that but you know, every once in a while they come back here to this area and they're all free off their leashes and they've all despawned. And yeah, it's just kind of a big pain in the butt. So what I want to do is set up like a stable kind of a thing for these guys. Stick them all in there so they have a place to be. I still want to breed these donkeys so we can get some good ones. We did that I think the last episode. We got this one here that's got like 11 hearts. I think we also got another one that had like 12 hearts. I'm not sure which one. This one's got 10 uh, but yeah, I want to try and get a super donkey eventually. Is it you? Nope, this one's got eight hearts. It's not a very good one. Okay. <laughs> or maybe it was one of the ones that had the packs already on it that had the 12 hearts. I can't remember. Yeah, this one's got eight, so it must be the one that has a saddle on it over here. The last one I tried. Yeah, this one's got 12 hearts. So this is a good donkey. Um, so I've been looking around at some designs. Specifically, the design that Suzuma used on the server over by the racetrack. Or not the racetrack, but where you can take your animals and check their speed. Uh, I was looking at the design he used, and it looks like the containment area for the horse or the donkey is 3x3x2.5. Three by three by uh, but yeah, so we want to do something like that. Now, I haven't gotten a chance to do anything with these walls and take them down or anything like that so for now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build some stables into these walls back here so we can put the donkeys they'll be kinda out of earshot from us uh, we still have you know fairly easy access to them uh, but yeah I think that's what we're gonna do so first things first we need to dig out like a 3x3 three three area uh, I didn't measure this out at all so I don't know if this is gonna line up let's see one, two, three, wall, one, two, three. But we could do it if we want the sharing a wall with this portal. Uh, but we can, you know, mess around with this a little bit later. Uh, it doesn't have to extend all the way over that direction. Okay, so this is the general area that would contain the donkeys. And I get a little bit of lag today for some reason. Like when I go into the nether, I keep rubber banding back and stuff. As you saw when I tried to get those blocks, it took forever for me to pick them up. Uh, so let's see. Maybe we'll go back one more. We'll make this four deep because from what I saw uh, The animal will be in this three by three area And then you put a half slab here and a half slab up here So it makes the entryway like two blocks So I don't think the horse or the donkey knows that it can go through But if you ride it you can easily ride in and out without taking suffocation damage I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I might have to remove some blocks up here and make it air blocks above. We'll work out those finer details in just a little bit. Uh, first things first, let's get some half slabs. Uh, I want to make sure that this stable area is actually what we want to do and is going to work. Uh, so let's see. I should have some stone half slabs over here. I got 20 of them. Oh, there goes TFC. I guess I will grab some of these stone bricks. And do I have a crafting table somewhere? Uh, crafting table, I do. Okay, let's take that with us as well. Alright. So yeah, getting a pl proper place for these animals is going to be great. <laughs> I'm tired of dealing with them. Okay, so I think if we did half slabs there, and I believe half slabs like this... Or is it a one? No, it's got to be up higher than that because I have to get out. So maybe the entrance is actually two and a half blocks? Hmm. I did take a look at what Suzuma did over there, but it didn't look super carefully, and that might be a problem. Okay, yeah, I think that is better. I can get out of there. All right. So let's go grab my donkey that has a saddle. Let's ride him over there and see if it can go inside, if it stays there. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get these guys out of here. Let's open this up. Yeah, that's another thing. I'm tired of having uh, these bars here. I want to have this opened up just like all the other towers without having to have it all blocked off. Okay, let's do that. Let's grab this guy right here. So we'll take that off. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. 
Careful, careful. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Ah, riding the donkey. Ooh, it looks like it's down two hearts. Do these guys recover health after a while? I hope so. Did my pick really do two hearts of damage to it? Wow. Okay, so if we go in here, am I going to take suffocation damage? No. Okay. I think this is going to work. So let's get off the donkey. Now the question is, is it going to just walk out? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? What do you... What, what is it doing? Is it out of the thing? Yep, okay. Well, that is not going to work. So I got to figure out what Suzuma's doing that's different compared to what I'm doing. Because I'm pretty sure this is the way his was set up. Hmm. Okay, well, that's a fail. <laughs> I'm going to leave that donkey here. Let's go back over to the village. The 1.7 village. Take a look at it. I'm pretty sure this is the way it was set up over there. But maybe he's doing something different that I just don't... I didn't see before or whatever. Um, yeah, Biff has set up a speed beacon above here. But it takes a long time for that thing to actually kick in when I go through. I don't know if that's just lag or what. But, um, yeah, it's kind of annoying. You'd think if there was a speed beacon right there in the nether that you'd just be running fast all of the time. Okay, am I going to lag and rubber band here? I think we're good. Right, so the area that he has the horse stable that I was looking at, just right over here. In fact, there's a couple of those buildings right there. What did I do wrong? Because I thought that's pretty much what he had. So there are, it's three by three with a half step or a half slab in front. This has one right here. So this is exactly two blocks tall. Mm-hmm. So why is this horse over here staying in there? Are horses just bigger than donkeys? Okay, uh, I'm not sure, but that guy seems to want to stay in there. Maybe it has to do with the carpeting that's on the ground. Do you have carpeting in every one of these? Yeah, there is carpet, carpet. Okay, so it could potentially be the carpet. It could be the soul sand. I see that he also has that in there. Well, I'm going to have to try out a few different things and figure out what it is that's keeping these guys in these stables and my donkey not wanting to stay in there. It might be that carpet. I don't know. All right, guys. I'm going to make a quick cut here. I'm going to try a few things and see if I can figure out what I've done wrong. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I spent a little bit of time here, and I created eight stables so I could put an animal in each one. And in fact, I might be able to put two in a single cell. I've never tried that. Uh, but the one thing is, I don't have very many saddles. I got the one saddle that's on this donkey. Um, I'm going to leave that on there for now because I want to remember which donkey that one is. That's the one with the highest health for now. Uh, but yeah, I was trying to get some name tags and some saddles. And the only way you can get those is by finding them in dungeons or by fishing. So I decided to try fishing out. And I got a whole bunch of these different fish. Uh, <laughs> all of this stuff. Got, you know, four lily pads. And a Hypnos fancy chest plate. No, I didn't get that. Uh, but all this other stuff I got in one session of fishing, including these books here. And I didn't get a single name tag. But I did get a saddle, which is pretty cool. So let's take that. Uh, also, you can get bows and things like that from fishing, which is interesting. Uh, only three clownfish, but I got a bunch of these puffers and some red salmon. Hmm. Yep, not too good of stuff, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I really want to get some name tags so I can name my donkeys. But, you know, like I said, we only got the, uh, the saddle. So, is that all the donkeys I have? I think that is. I can't remember how many I have and how many... <laughs> okay, so let's take this guy off. Uh, so I was looking at... Let's see if we can put this saddle on him. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Yeah, so I was looking at those... The stables. And trying to figure out why the donkey was leaving that stable and not staying in there. So I thought maybe if I put down some carpeting or something, that would, you know, trick the animal into thinking that I can't escape. Well, I don't know what the deal is, but I put this donkey in there and he's just staying in there now 
So maybe when I did the first time, I didn't have some slabs in place and I thought it can escape, or maybe I didn't have it far enough in the back and it was part way on the slabs. I don't know. But uh, what I do know is that these cells appear to be working as they are. So I'm just going to leave the animals in there like this. But yeah, I need to grab the saddle off these guys and bring them over. You're not going to try and escape, are you? Yeah, it doesn't look like you're trying to wander anywhere. Uh, I did notice, though, when I was putting these together, originally I had some stone slabs in front. I broke those, and I was going to place down the spruce slabs. And as soon as I broke those, this guy decided to wander out. So the pathfinding was working without these there. So I'm pretty sure these cells are, you know, good enough to keep the animals in there. Like I said, I don't know what the problem was originally uh, <laughs> when I was trying to set these up before. I'm sure I did something wrong, and I just don't know about it, but I think we're good to go now. So let's go ahead and continue to uh, yeah, take the, the leashes off these guys. Okay, you got to settle on this guy. Let's move him over there. And, uh, yeah, I want to start breeding these animals up a little bit more. I Like I said, I want to get preferably a donkey with 15 hearts. I don't know if these guys can get any other stats. Like, I'm pretty sure donkeys are never going to be able to jump super great or, you know, move super fast, but... I don't know. I haven't had enough experience to uh, actually find that out. Okay, so when I get off that guy, he pushed forward. Now are you going to try and escape? So that maybe that's what happened before. When I get off the donkey, I pushed him onto the half slab. And then it eventually got off. Oops. Get off of the donkey. And I need my saddle back. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of annoying having to grab the saddle every single time to move one of these. But... You know, it'll be good that I can finally take down these bars and I don't have to worry about the donkeys escaping. And yeah, just have them closer together in a specific area to breed. I think that's going to be much better for these guys. Whoa, what was that sound? I don't know. Maybe putting the saddle on them makes a sound? <laughs> Alright guys, well let me get these guys all corralled up over here. Uh, I'm going to try and breed a few more of them together. See if we can get a better donkey and I will meet you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, so I've been sitting here breeding these animals for a while. I took the one that had 12 hearts, I bred it with the one with 11, and I got another 12 heart one. And I've been breeding the ones with 12 hearts together, and I get 12 heart offspring. So it seems like I'm kind of stuck at this point at getting 12 hearts for the maximum on a donkey. Now I don't know if the donkeys actually can get the 15 hearts or not, uh, but I know that you guys have told me horses, the maximum hearts you can get is 15. So maybe if I meet one of these donkeys with a horse that has 15 hearts, the offspring mule will have 15 hearts. I don't know how that's really going to work. Uh, but what I do know is that I need to get a horse to actually do any of this stuff. So I got a saddle, and I know there's horses around. I've been eyeballing these guys for quite some time now. I'm curious to see how this is actually going to work when you mate a horse with a donkey. Um, I assume it's going to be the same exact thing, but I don't know. It's just kind of curious to see how the process actually works. Now, I don't know if this is a good horse over here or not. This guy's been kind of wandering around. Uh, do you got, how many, oh, I got to break him. How many hearts are you going to have, Mr. Horse? Whoop. Am I on the horse? No, I don't think I am. Okay, so this isn't a very good one. Let's get off the horse. Um, kind of want to find one that has a lot of hearts. So I know that over here, there are a few few pure white ones, or some white, or some brown with white spot horses. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which particular one I want. I even think I saw that there were some black ones over here, so that's kind of cool too. A lot of choices in the different horses. Uh, how far away is this? I didn't think it was that far. Uh, let's see, it should just be right over this little hill. Okay, here we go, yeah. There's our field of horses. I see a white one and some brown ones. Let's check this guy out. What do you got? Ooh, this guy's got 14 hearts. Uh, we also want to find one that's relatively quick. Let's check out this brown one. That one's got 11. Hmm. And it might just be that if we get one that has a lot of hearts, this might be slow. Let's check out this black one over here. Are you going to be a good horse? Oops. Uh, yeah, that one's only got like 9 or 10 hearts. Not super good. I need to eat some food so I can actually move around a little bit. 
Oh, maybe I didn't see a white horse. Maybe that was a sheep. Nope, there's a white horse right there. Okay, what does this guy have? Need the open hand to get on the horse. He's got 14 hearts. I mean, that's not bad. Um, I think we'll keep shopping. There are a few more horses around. I would like to find one that's got the perfect amount of hearts. That's not it. What about this brown one? Nope. <laughs> yeah, there's so many horses over here. I might just make a cut and try and find the best one. Nope, that one's not a good one. Hmm. Okay, well, I know that there is more than just these horses over here. Let's go take a look real quick uh, around this side. Maybe I'll enter Pearl over there, be a little faster. Uh, but yeah, I know that this field over here, this plains area, there's been a whole bunch of horses. So the ones that we've seen just now are just a fraction of what's out here. Yeah, look at this. we got a whole bunch of different ones. This is a gray horse. Maybe we should check this guy out. It's got 10. Uh, yeah, every time I get off those horses, it kind of disorientates me. What do you got? You got 13. What about this nice tan one? Yep, that one's only got 10. Yeah, it's probably going to be unlikely that we find one that's got the full 15. It's got 13. I mean, we found one that had 14, which was pretty cool. Uh, so here's another white one over here. Not seeing too many other horses around this area, though. Hmm. Our options are getting fewer and fewer. I might just go get that one that had the 14 hearts. Okay, so that one's got 11. Uh, another thing we could do is just breed the horses together. Maybe, uh, ooh, there's one down here. Maybe we'll, you know, get one that actually has a lot of hearts. That one's only got eight hearts. It's not very good. Um, hmm. All right, guys. Well, I tell you what. I'm going to cruise around this area, see if I can find any other horses, and I'm going to get the best one that I can find, hopefully one that's fast and has got a decent amount of hearts, and I'm going to bring it back over to the base, and I'll meet you guys there. Okay guys, so I went and I collected three different horses that I saw that I saw and I thought were gonna be alright. So this horse here, which is not too bad, it's got 14 hearts. Um, the only problem with it is when you ride it, it's not super fast. Let me uh, get the saddle off this guy. Yeah, this one I got 15 hearts on that one. That one's a pretty good one. So let's check out, oh, you know what, I gotta disconnect him from here. Let's do that, get the lead off. Did I pick it up no it's still right there okay so let's check this guy out um saddle on so now i can ride him around uh i'm kind of lagging on the server so it's kind of hard to tell how fast these horses actually are but this one's a decent speed it's definitely faster than the donkeys and it's got 14 hearts so i decided i'd grab this guy and we will try making a mule out of him um so that second horse over here the um uh, the tan one with the black, this guy. Uh, this one was a little bit faster, but doesn't have as many hearts. Let me leash this guy back up and grab my saddle. Let's take this off. Okay, so let's get on this guy. Yeah, he's got 10 hearts, which isn't ideal, but he looked like he was going to be pretty fast too. So I'm not really sure if this guy's faster or not than that previous horse. Again, the server's kind of laggy, so trying to judge how fast, yeah, how fast these horses are, not exactly the easiest thing. I'd have to take it over to that speedometer thing, and that's just a lot of work for what I want to do for right now. I'm not trying to make the most perfect mule, but I would like to try and make a mule, or at least a decent one. Okay, and then we got this guy over here. This one, I think, is going to be our guy. So let's disconnect him and put the saddle on him so this one does have 15 hearts uh he's got a little bit of jump i'm not sure exactly how far that jump is but i think he was able to jump over two blocks so not too bad but this one seems to be faster than all three or the fastest of the three so i think this is probably going to be our best shot at making a pretty good mule for now uh ideally I'd like to see if we could get one that has 15 hearts that, you know, carries the speed with it and preferably the jump, but the jump to a lesser extent. Okay, so let's get this horse. Actually, you know what? I want to get back on him and 
all four of these donkeys here have 12 hearts, so I'm just gonna stick this horse in here. Let me just get on this donkey verify. Yeah, but this one's got 12 hearts. Uh, so I got a couple of golden carrots, so let's go and breed you with you. This is the first time I've ever seen a mule being bred. I've, I've never done that before. Okay, so it's a brown... Is that a... Yeah, that must be a donkey. Or a mule, I mean. Why am I getting these now? I've been <laughs> another 60 times. No... Oops, caps lock. No idea. Yeah, I keep getting random achievements, too. When I should have kept them. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the new launcher or getting updates for stuff. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I need to go some sugar from over here because we want to raise that mule up and just check it out. See if it's as fast as that horse and if it's got that many hearts and all that stuff. Okay, so our mule is right here. You know what? I should grab this horse, bring him out, Let's stick him right there. Let's grab our mule. Pull him out. Stick him right there. And let's grow him up. So 40 sugar should do it. Look at him. He looks happy. He's getting sugar. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got. Okay. So he's got 13 hearts. That's better than the donkeys. It's not 15 hearts, but it is better. Um... I don't have a saddle, so let me grab this, guys. And we'll put the saddle on our mule. Uh-huh, let's disconnect the mule. Let's get on him. So is this guy going to be fast? Hmm. I don't think he's quite as fast as the horse, but I think he is faster than the donkeys. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean... You know, it's not a perfect animal, but it is better than... Well, it's a it's a decent combination of the two. Ooh, you know what? I think this guy might have some jump. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to test how high they can jump. I'm probably just gonna have to play some blocks and see if I can jump over two or two and a half or three or whatever. But yeah, I think we are well on our way to making some pretty good animals here. And the good thing about the mule is you can put a chest on them they're just like the donkeys, they are pack animals, so you can take them with you, carry extra potions to a wither fight, or take them down to your branch mine and carry out a whole bunch of extra stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright guys, well I got a few more things to work out here. Um, I would like to tr see if I can breed this horse with one of these other ones and maybe make some better horses. Uh, but yeah, I think that is going to do it for today. So. Yep, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.